G'day. In today's video, I'm working on an older Acer Helios 300 with an i7 7700 and also a GTX 1060. So what I want to do in here is I want to tear it down, replace the internal NVMe and also put new thermal paste on here, potentially give it a dust blowout. So I'm just going to work my way to it. And in here is a two terabyte drive. In the 2.5 inch bay. Now, if I can get this to come out. There we go. And this wiggles loose. Should wiggle loose. There we go. And we have a Seagate 2 terabyte in there. So now I'll continue taking out the screws. Those ones I'm going to put over this part of the tray. Next up, I'll remove this one as well, which as we'll have a quick look, we will see no RAM. So at this point, I did pull out the factory 16 gig stick running at 2666 megahertz. And from here, let's get into it. So I'm gonna auto assume that all the screws are the same length. Not always the case. Sometimes the hinge screws are different length or the ones at the front are slightly different. And what I'm going to plan on doing with this one is change it over to two sticks of probably eight and then also yeah, put a one terabyte NVMe which will be a Kingston A200, which is pretty much my go-to one I find for good value and performance without getting too ridiculous in the price. So Ace is a fan, brand I haven't really been a fan of personally, but after playing with the new budget Acer Nitro 5 with a 10300H quad-core i5 and a 3060, it's given me a bit of interest in looking back and seeing how long they've actually been okay for. Uh, here's the next trick. It's getting into the here. Let's start on a corner. I'm assuming it's the base that lifts, not the keyboard. A pry tool and getting prying. Yeah, that looks to be the base is separate. Now, do I have a few more hidden screws? No, I've just got a screw that is not in. Do up one down here. And one here. Now we should come off. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'll give this a dust blowout. We'll disconnect the battery for now. And three, two, one. Dust be gone. Now, let's get this cooler off. So the battery is disconnected. Time to remove some screws. Let's 
So there's four in total here. Now that's loose. We have a very odd screw configuration for the cooler. Now I'm leaving the fans connected because I don't believe I will need to disconnect them. Now if we give it a slight twist. No. This goes directly up. So this thermal paste, it definitely feels like it is a bit old. There we go. Fold it over. As you can see, we're not the, the greatest looking stuff. This will change that. <clears throat> so being I bought this, bought this machine and it had a single dim slot occupied with a single eight gig stick, then what that instantly says to me is this was not running in dual channel mode. So this wasn't running at the fullest potential that this machine could have. So if you've got an older system like this, it's probably definitely worthwhile, or any system, to run in dual channel mode. And I believe the new one is dual ranked, which is a different topic altogether. Oh, well, I'm not, actually, no. Never mind my ramblings. There we go, get that out of there. Clean your teeth and clean your chips. There we go. Next up, over here. There we go, give that a clean up too. Next up is some um, Arctic Silver 5. Got that, it's not kind of mainly not due to any particular reason apart from price. There's some there, some over here. Some for you guys. No matter how I do this, people will say I'm doing it wrong. Thermal paste, there's no real wrong way to apply it. There is, technically, but if you're literally getting it on the chip, you should be fine. Put a bit on here. There we go. Flip it back over. Line it up. Push it down. Put the screws back in. That should keep it a bit happier, running a bit lower in temp, and hopefully gives a bit of a, a better gaming performance, or B, a quieter machine, or C, the parts actually last longer. So next up will be the NVMe. that over, zoom you in, and to, um, what we need to do from here is use a smaller screwdriver, undo here, it lifts up, pull, wiggle it back, pull it out, hmm, I don't believe this is NVMe, which will be a slight tweak to what I wanted to do, as I've got 
this one to go in there. So what do we do? Let's Google. And Google says yes. So put this in there. Screw that down. And from here, I'm right to start the reinstall. Once I've put in the fan screws. No real rhyme or reason to where I'm putting them. So now with that done, I'm going to put the 16 gig back in. So it slots in one way, slots into the groove, and then you push down. And these two should click in. To take it out, pull them away, it lifts up, pull it out. Done. Next up, don't forget, reconnect your battery. Connected, now let's reinstall. I'm pretty sure I did just drop a couple of screws onto the ground, so that sucks, but let's get into it. Right now I'm just pushing pressure around the case. Hear it popping, clicking into position. some screws in. From here, so essentially to upgrade this machine you don't need to tear it down to get to the RAM, which is a good bonus. Granted it is now a three slash four year old machine, so it is the style at the time. Let's keep going. You can access the RAM, you can't access the NVMe, which is slightly disappointing. I wish there was a little bit of plastic further down, you could just undo it and lift and screw it, pull out. So you do have to do a tear down to be able to do that. But we made a, that worthwhile by also changing the thermal paste. So it's not a complete loss going it that way. So far. I think we've got the right amount of screws. No, no, I don't. I'll be picking them up off the floor. One, two, three. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Missing one here. I look to have dropped one, two screws. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys here, actually, we'll show you how to put this drive back into here. You line up the pins, pull it towards you, that clicks, and then from here, put the smaller screws in the surround of it. Go. Next up, hard drive cover, slots in, pushes down, goes in, done. This one here, very similar, slide in, push down, clicks into position, one thumb screw, and we should be good. Anyway, I'm going to look for these screws and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.